Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're doing the 2020 predictions for cybersecurity and beyond. Okay, so we're on uh, helpnetsecurity.com and I just wanted to read through this uh, cybersecurity industry predictions for 2020 and beyond article and um, just sort of go through it with you and discuss what could potentially come in 2020. Okay, so the article starts. When it comes to cybersecurity industry predictions for 2020, Optiv researchers expect to see a focus on privacy, evolving threat actors, pervasive deepfake videos, and increased election interference. Deepfakes are terrifying, and I really um, I look forward to seeing some really good ones, but I'm also a little bit scared at seeing some of the really, really good ones um, and where that sort of takes things uh, in the future. I digress. As we look beyond 2019 and into 2020, we have a solid idea of what threats the industry is facing and not just ransomware and phishing attacks, although those are definitely the biggest margin of attacks out there. But new hard to combat threats, says Anthony Dyer's Division Vice President Emerging Services at Optiv. As is always the cause, us good guys are forced to play catch up with the bad actors who constantly remain a step ahead. There is much IT and business leaders must be aware of when it comes to blah 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 blah. Okay. Hybrid threat actors may become more commonplace. These are attackers who impersonate one type of adversary to disguise their true intentions. For example, a nation state imitating a generic hacker targeting a customer database when its true aim is to steal intellectual property. Yeah, I guess that'll pro like, yeah, that's a given really. It's going to be an increase in that, but anyway. Apple's privacy as a human right campaign should cause others to follow. If you haven't seen this, um, I'll see if I can find a link and I'll put it in, in the description. But um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. But I'll read this. The world's foremost technology organization going all in on privacy will shift the competitive landscape. Security and privacy could become a competitive differentiator for companies that follow Apple's lead and grab first mover status in their markets. Laggards may risk meeting the unseemly fate of past organizations that fail to embrace important technology paradigms such as internet cloud and mobile computing. Election misinformation campaigns could proliferate. The effectiveness of Russian misinformation campaign of 2016 increases the possibility of increased copycat attacks for the 2020 election. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be a massive story in itself. There's going to be so many stories about this in particular around that election. It's just going to be, you're going to be so sick of hearing about hacks on the election when that comes out. I almost guarantee you there's so many people who are going to be after that and copycats like this article says that are going to try and imitate what happened in 2016 and um, yeah, sort your shit out and make the election a little bit less hackable. We might see the first cases of deep fakes used to manipulate stock prices. Well, that's interesting. Stock prices. There has been much publicity around the potential to impact elections using deep fakes. However, not enough attention has been paid to how cyber criminals can make money using deep fakes against businesses. That's very true. I've seen a lot of like larger figure deep fakes, like the Jim Carrey one, which was hilarious. Yeah, all sorts of like big figures I guess in different industries who have been deep faked and um, some of them are pretty convincing so yeah it'll be interesting to see how it can affect businesses as well though this might change in 2020 as it's possible we will see the first deep fake attacks designed to impact stock prices by having CEOs financial analysts Federal Reserve leaders or other powerful economic figures make phony statements that would cause stock market movements. Cyber criminals would use these videos to make quick fortunes in the market, which would be very hard to track. Because a lot of people put down a lot of really stupid bets, which is essentially what, I guess, 
the stock market is and um, sometimes they make a heap of money sometimes they don't but um, yeah if it's been manipulated like this that would be very interesting especially if someone put in like 10 million dollars on some shitty stock that is likely not to do very well and then somehow becomes the next big thing and someone just withdraws all and, and laughs that would be interesting there should be widespread realignment of IT and security organizations as boards view cybersecurity as a peer level risk to traditional enterprise risks such as lawsuits and product recalls more CISOs should become peers of CIOs and other executives rather than direct or indirect reports. This would cause a realignment of IT and security organizations to eliminate conflicts and encourage collaboration. I'm pretty sure this already happens, um, or at least it has in some of the places I work where you know the CIOs and the CISOs sort of all work together. But um, I guess this is more general and probably targeted more towards the US where Everyone wants to stab each other in the back to play the Game of Thrones. Cybersecurity basics may continue to vex consumers and enterprise organizations. Whether insufficient passwords, lack of education and training around phishing attacks, or simple upkeep and compliance, the tiny details of cybersecurity will continue to be the cause of a vast portion of compromises if left unaccounted for. Simple passwords, which are those without special characters or are extremely obvious, such as password 123, please do not use that password, only take minutes, they take seconds to crack by professional hackers and can be done inexpensively. Yeah, literally like a Raspberry Pi, so 50 bucks could do that. Even a VM could do it. It's just so easy to crack that sort of password. It wouldn't even take a minute. So I guess deep fakes is probably the biggest one here as well as election misinformation campaigns. Um, those are probably going to be the two you hear the most about. I'm really keen to see where deep fakes uh, sort of go and um, what happens with all of that. And I'm really keen to see this uh, stock market manipulation which they're predicting here. Um, that would be very interesting to see and I'd be interested to see which countries uh, hackers take advantage of this the most. You might notice here that these sort of hacks are less hacks of systems but more hacks of people and um, I guess what we're seeing here is that the systems in place to stop hackers are pretty good and that people are continuing to be weakest link in uh, any sort of security system. So um, yeah, pretty interesting and I'm keen to see where this goes in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Comment if you have any questions or predictions of your own for what we are going to see in 2020. And of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. Hopefully they get better from here. Hopefully my green screen doesn't crackle like it is here. Anyway, I'll catch you later guys. Thanks for watching.